Well, whenever I walk in, in the morning or, or whenever, I always feel it's a tremendously creative place. I want to work. It's very stimulating and very, and very um, um, inspiring, really. So that's one of the things I think that, and, and the other thing is that it, it, I always feel relaxed and, and people feel friendly here. I think the best thing about the centre is the accessibility, uh, not only of the space, but also the friendliness of the staff and just the, the whole atmosphere of, of the centre is a really welcoming, nice place to go to. Yeah, I think as soon as I walk through the doors, um, it puts me in the right zone to be creative. It seems really arty, but really friendly. Fantastic atmosphere. And for small, low-key performances, it's absolutely fantastic. It's a dream to play in. As well as that, it's also about um, the social aspect of it, you know, meeting different people and just being out in the community and sparking off um, others' ideas, that it's flexible, sort of uh, geared up towards more uh, disabled people, but um, anyone can join in as well. But there are a variety of classes and therefore there's an opportunity for people to find what they want to do. Anybody with any kind of aptitude, whether they are, have a disability or not, would be really welcome here. I love the fact that people can and, and really enjoy working alongside each other, um, whatever their background, whatever their experiences. So, so I think that's, a, that's, that's what makes us really special. Well, from an artist's point of view, it, it sparks ideas. So on the one hand it's ideas and secondly it's techniques and how to do it. In some cases the Toots have been artists or are artists in their own right. Um, so you just get a feeling of more professionalism at the centre than your average sort of evening class. And for instance, I take a life class and people come in who are professional artists, but there are also beginners there. And I like that feeling and one learns from the other. And people are actually encouraged really to reach their full potential, I think. And, and uh, I like that. I like that idea that you can have expectations that are quite high, really, for people to achieve what you believe that they can do. But, you know, it's giving them that confidence to actually get there. There are members of the group who will turn up ready for a, a movers session three hours early because they want to sit in the arts bar and listen to the sound bites or they just like the atmosphere of being able to sit down in there, read the paper, have a cup of tea sort of thing, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I, I, I think on, on both of those levels it's, it's really grown the people that are in the company as well as growing the company. But I've got people here that come back course after course after course they even meet after, after the course is finished and they say, do we have to finish so early? Can't we meet up? Can we do another one? They like to come along, not just to the 10 week course um, for the tutorials, but then they want to come to workshops as well. I just think it's a great um, place full of hidden talent, I'd say. I feel that, I do feel that the, the centre has a creative edge to it and I don't think you can get away from that even if you were just coming for a cup of coffee um, and I find it quite inspirational. But you just know that whatever is going to be on it as far as performing arts are concerned um, you know that there's going to be a quality about it. It leaves you with a feel good factor. I'd say go uh, <laughs> because it's a great place um, yeah, like I say, you know, not only for, for the space that's there and for the, the sort of resources that are available within the building, but also the, the atmosphere and the, the welcoming nature of the staff, you know, people will help you do the kind of things that you want to do there, basically. This is, I suppose, part of my comfort zone.